So this question says, in the xy plane, the graph of the linear function f contains the points 0, 2, and 8, 34. Which equation defines f where y equals f of x? So a couple of things. First of all, we could just use plug-in information from the question to solve for this. What I mean by that is we have an x and y value here. We also have an x and y value here, which means we could just plug those things in and find the equation from which you know, both of those points actually match, meaning that when I plug in 0 for x, I get 2 for y. When I plug in 8 for x, I get 34 for y. I'm actually going to start off doing that just because it's easier to cross some things out. The fact that when I plug 0 in for x, I should get y equals 2 automatically means a and b are gone because, when I, again, in these cases, if I put 0 here, I get 42. If I put 0 here, I get 36. But I don't want those numbers. I want 2, right? But I do get 2 for C and D. Uh, next, again, I could plug in 8. Let's just do it. We'll just do this strategy. I'm teetering between this one and another one, which I'll mention after I'm done. But um, let's just use plug-in information from the question. So if I re replace this X with an 8, this equation will become 4 times 8 plus 2. 4 times 8 is 32, plus 2 is actually 34. So that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to be able to plug in 8 for x and get 34 for f of x, and therefore choice C must be the correct answer. The other way to solve this, by the way, is just to think about this through a f of x equals mx plus b way, which is just the slope-intercept form of the equation. Um, we know that b is equal to 2 because 2 is the y-intercept. How do we know that? The y-intercept is wherever x is equal to 0. So this would turn into f of x equals mx plus 2. That in itself would allow us, again, to cross out a and b. Then I can find my slope. There's an equation for finding the slope. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I can do that by subtracting my y values. I'm going to go big to small, so 34 minus 2 which is 32, and then 8 minus 0, which is 8. 32 divided by 8 is 4, so therefore m equals 4, and therefore f of x equals not mx, but 4x, since we know m is 4, plus not b, but 2, because we know b is 2. And again, that takes us to our choice c. So sorry for the bit of a longer video, but we got to see two different methods uh, of how to solve this. And that's good because everybody has their own preferences on what they think is easier.